Hi again guys, for those of you who watched my previous video on um, grooming and health for my Maltese that I did, I did a haul video. Um, this one is going to touch on toys and harnesses and collars for a small breed, specifically a Maltese. Um, again, like I said, we're expecting to get our dog Gus from the breeder in 17 days. We're very excited and I've, you know, kind of shopped throughout. We've waited for this dog for about a year. So, you know, in, in a year, you can only imagine we've kind of accumulated a bunch of stuff. So I just wanted to kind of show what we have just, you know, in case people were wondering what they need to, you know, to prepare for a puppy. Although I will say that a lot of the stuff I got, um, you don't really need. It's just, I like to shop and this dog is going to be spoiled rotten. So he has a lot. I mean, you know, Toysy doesn't have a lot of stuff, but he just has a lot of stuff for a puppy that's not even here yet. So anyway, I'm going to start off with this nifty little box that I got at Home Goods. I love Home Goods, and I'm, I try to be, I try to keep as organized as I can because we, my fiance and I live in a really small apartment, so we're, I'm kind of trying to keep things organized. And this is, can you see that? This is just a little paw print box. I think they use it as like a dog toy storage thing. I really think it's cool, and I've started filling it up. Um, how much did I buy this for? Like $10 at Home Goods? It's pretty sizable, so dog toy box. Um, and then before I start too, I'm going to tell you, I actually subscribed to Poala, a six month subscription. I subscribed with a six month subscription because they came out with their Poala Mini, which, you know, ended up being really reasonable price wise. So a lot of the toys that I'm going to show came in the Poala box, um, you know, that he received. So. This one, this one toy, it's a little stuffed monkey, it's a squeaky, and I think it's so cute because it's orange and adorable. I'm sure he'll like it. This will probably be longer than he is. Gus is expected to chart about between four to six pounds, so right now, by the time we bring him home, he will barely probably be two pounds, maybe just hitting the two pound mark, so it'll be a little big for him. And, um, and some of the toys that I'm going to show you are actually hand-me-downs from um, my previous dog, Riley, who is no longer with us, um, like this. Riley was a Maltese Bichon mix, so he's a little bit bigger, but not much. He was 10 pounds full grown. Um, and this I bought for him. He did not like this toy. I think it's meant for bigger dogs. It's like a teething toy. Um, I got it from PetSmart long, like four years ago, so I'm just reusing it for Gus. Um, and this I got from Amazon specifically for Gus. It's a uh, chew toy cool teething stick by pet stages and you can actually um you can actually freeze this freeze the toy so that um you know it's like it's really soothing to their gums it has a little crinkles at the bottom and it's meant specifically for small breed dogs because if you can see how big my hand is in relation to that toy it's pretty small so i think gus will probably like it hopefully he'll really like it and it says uh can be frozen to soothe teething gu uh tender gums um, outer shell freezes to provide soothing relief for tender gums, um, and then it has streamers and flags and stuff. It looks like a little baby teething toy, actually. Um, and then we have another, I think this was Pet Stages too. it's a little bone, teething bone. This was also Gus, uh, Riley's old toy, that which he liked better than the, uh, Riley liked this, excuse me, way better than he liked this, so, you know, we kept both of them for his little brother. And then this is another ball, like just one of those rubber balls, another hand-me-down. Um, Riley didn't like it very much, so we'll see how Gus reacts to it. Um, and then Kong. Oh, we love Kongs in this house. I actually have three, I think. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, three Kongs because Gus, I mean not Gus, see I can't keep their name straight. It's like being a parent to multiple children. Riley, our old dog love these things and we used to stuff them with peanut butter and um those little kong treats they have those little they look like spray cheese easy cheese that you sprayed inside the kong and you put it in their um crate like we crate trained riley and this was the way to get him into the crate was to fill this specifically with peanut butter that was his favorite and i learned later that i could have frozen the peanut butter so it lasted long so you could put a little bit of their kibble in there and then peanut butter and freeze it and it'll take them a while to get it out so but we love Kongs around here. I'm sure Gus will love these. So we have three Kongs. Um, and then another teething ball. This one I think came with my, I subscribed for a month 
with um, Bark, no, not Bark Box, Paw Box, and I discontinued it because I ended up not really liking it, but this came with that one box. And this is the amazing Two Saver um, rope toy that helps, I guess, promotes, it says promotes healthy teeth and gums. Um, it's very similar to this, except I think this is rope and this is rubber, so we'll see which one, um, which one, I didn't even know which dog I'm talking about, which one Gus prefers. I think this one probably will win because it's smaller, but we'll see. And then, let's see, and then this one came with my Paw Walla box from, I think, two months ago. Maybe. I think it's January it came, or February. The Wigsy Stuff and Throw. Um, it's one of the, it's a rubber ball that you can stuff treats in. There's a hole in there. You can stuff treats in there and it's, it becomes like an interactive toy. So as you can see, this is specific for um, Gus. Like, this is brand brand new for him. And then, this is my favorite thing ever. I wish I hadn't thrown away the box now. It is by Push Puppies. Not Push Puppies. Plush Puppies. And it's, oh no, it's uh, by Kaijin, actually. I'll take that back. This is by Kaijin Toy Company. And it's actually an interactive toy called um, Hide a Squirrel. That's what it's called. If you Google Hide a Squirrel Dog Toy, this is what comes up. They sell it in different sizes. This is the mini, junior. I can't remember which one, but this is the smallest one. So cute. So this is an interact, like it helps your dog kind of figure things out. So these squirrels come out of the little tree trunk. So you take out all the squirrels. I think it comes in threes. Let me just put it down see. So two, three squirrels and a tree trunk. Oh, how cute is this? I kind of, <laughs> I hope he doesn't destroy it. Cause I mean, and the, the skunks, not the skunks, the squirrels squeak too so I'm sure my dog will love this so basically it's like an owner and dog toy basically because you have to stuff the squirrels in there and you have to you know train your dog that to take out the squirrels um, it is the cutest thing ever look at it so cute I cannot wait to see how Gus reacts to this and there's the one at the top this is so cute I think they have a bunch it's not just a um, hide a squirrel there's like a hide a chipmunk or hide a rabbit or something by this company it's called Kaijin um, I'm gonna put it on the down box later if anyone's interested in getting this toy or you could just type like I said hide a squirrel I bought this from Amazon for 20 something dollars but like I said this is very small for small breed puppies you could probably get the regular size one and I think it's like this big or something like from this bottom to up here so you know, it's very, I think it's so cute. It's so cute. It's my favorite toy that he has, so. I bought that specifically for Gus, too, so. And then, let's see, my training. Um, these are, again, hand-me-downs from um, Riley. When we had Riley, we did um, puppy manners classes, and this came with it. Clickers, if you've ever, you know, if you've ever had any dogs or, you know, do a lot of training with them, you're probably familiar. It's the if you're not, it's the clicking method where instead of saying good dog, good dog, you click and treat. You know, it's just much, much faster for them. Um, and this is a little treat bag that came with our class. We took him to PetSmart, which I'm not going to repeat with Gus. We're probably going to do another obedience training school. So, But these came with my PetSmart when I took the classes and other clicker. So we have two clickers and a little um, treat bag. And then um, with harnesses. Um, with small breed dogs, they recommend that you use a harness because um, their necks are really tiny and their trachea might get um, pinched if you use a collar when you walk them. So I bought Gus a little harness from Puppia, P-U-P-P-I-A, that's the company name. Um, and this is their extra, extra small, or is it just, no, this is the extra small. I'm not sure if this will fit him now yet because like I said, he's really tiny. So this might be too big. Um, but, you know, again, I would recommend if you have a small dog to use a harness as much as you can because collars are not the safest thing for them. So I got this for him. And I think this tends to be a little bit expensive. This brand specifically is a little bit expensive, but I got it on Amazon. And I don't know if it was an ordering mistake or I just got lucky or they had a promo I didn't know about, but I got two. instead. You know, I got a black one and this one. And... You know, I was kind of like, that's pretty neat to get two for the, for the price of one. So I think normally these retail for 24 Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody that has a papilla, papilla. But this was about 24 for a harness. Um, and then 
you know, just in case, you know, I still decided I was going to get Gus a collar, even though he has a harness, just in case the harness doesn't fit. And this is just for emergency. So I got him this. It's actually a cat collar um, because it's small and it's probably going to fit him. It, this will definitely fit him. And it's the kind of collar that does the release. It's like a releasing collar. If he ever, you know, gets caught on something and he struggles, like he will wiggle, he'll be able to wiggle out of the collar. It's like a non strangly strangly collar, which, you know, I thought was gonna be really helpful you know so we have that collar and the harness and then I have to show you this because I love this thing I got him a little tag from oh can you see that I don't know what you're seeing there I got it from a website that sells really cute dog stuff and it's customized and it just says G on the front for Gus and then our phone numbers in the back and this can clip and I got a little individual clip so that it's easy to unclip it whether he's using his harness or his collar, it's easy to clip out. But this, and then I got his non-matching leash because this leash was Riley's old leash. So, I mean, I know it doesn't match with anything else, but it's okay. For in the meantime, this is fine. Um, I'm actually planning on getting a really nice harness for Gus um, from... Hmm, why can I? Buddy belt. It's called a buddy belt. Um, and it's they're kind of expensive, so I'm going to wait until he's about reached his full growth before I get that because like I said it's kind of pricey so anyway basically you know these are all the things I got for him like in terms of toys and other essentials um a lot of those like I said are in my previous video a lot of these things are just extra frills um you don't really need them if you're just wanting like a basic puppy you know you just want basic puppy items um a lot of these you know like I said we've prepared for a year and we've had a previous dog so lots of hand-me-downs and stuff um don't ever feel pressured like you have to buy all these things for your dog because really all they need is like for you to love them basically so just get you know a chew toy or two and a maybe a stuffed animal like a lovey comfy toy soft toy and a blanket and you should be set your dog will be so happy but anyway um i hope this has helped you if you're in the process of looking for a dog or are just wondering what you should get so um you know again it won't work for everyone but take it for a grain of salt and maybe you know you'll find some of the stuff that um you know that you'll find your dog will like later when i get gus i'm gonna do a review on which of the toys that I showed you, which ones he ended up liking. <laughs> I really hope he likes the hide a squirrel because I really want to play with it. <laughs> but anyway, so I hope this video has been helpful. Um, the next segment will be a video on like his dog bed and some of the other comfort, I don't know what I'm going to title it, but like comfort needs, like, you know, any other thing that isn't a toy or um, grooming. Actually, I need to do a video on treats too because he has a lot of treats and food. So I'll probably do that too. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.